With the VertiPort dilemma facing the aviation industry, is the world truly ready for EV tall infrastructure? Today, we'll talk about the exciting plans for VertiPorts and air taxis that could change how we get around our cities. What will it take to make this dream come true? Let's jump in and find out. By 2028, there are plans for 1,044 vertiports around the world. But experts think only about 620 will actually get built because of regulations and delays. Right now, we only have 24 vertiports globally, which shows how ambitious this timeline really is. China is taking the lead, planning to build over 100 vertiports in Guangdong province by 2027, thanks to the government's push for a low-altitude economy. In North America, there are around 100 vertiports either in the works or hinted at, especially in busy areas like San Francisco Bay. Europe, however, is facing some tough challenges, with city center vertiport plans getting stuck due to strict local laws and zoning issues. In places like Los Angeles, people are getting creative by turning parking garages and existing helipads into vertiports. For example, Archer Aviation is looking at helipads on USC campuses and retrofitting other urban spaces to connect key areas like Santa Monica, Orange County, and Hollywood Burbank Airport. Dubai is going all out. Its vertiport at DXB International Airport will be huge. 3,100 square meters over three stories, and it'll connect right to the Dubai Metro. Built for Joby Aviation's EV tall vehicles, this vertiport will have fast charging systems and can handle thousands of passengers every day. In places like Australasia, the focus is on keeping things simple and budget-friendly with airport-based vertiports. But in the Middle East, they're aiming for large, complex hubs with multiple takeoff and landing spots. Zoning laws are turning out to be a major roadblock for building vertiports. In Western Europe, local rules about land use make setting up vertiports in city centers both pricey and slow. In the US, the approval process is still changing, especially in places like Los Angeles, where they're planning vertiports for big events like the 2028 Summer Olympics. Air traffic management is another challenge. Europe's U Space DACUS program is already figuring out how many takeoff and landing areas will be needed for drones and passenger EV tolls. For instance, in Toulouse, a city with 1.2 million people, researchers say they'll need around 350 to 450 tolas by 2036 which works out to about one for every 3,000 residents. Building a network of vertiports doesn't come cheap, and the numbers show it. For a big city, McKinsey estimates that having 85 to 100 takeoff and landing pads would cost between 35 to $45 million to build, with yearly operating costs reaching 110 to 130 million US dollars. Even smaller, mid-sized cities have their challenges. A medium-sized city might need 38 to 65 tolas, costing around 15 to 20 million dollars to set up and about 35 to 50 million dollars each year to run. Tokyo and Madrid are already using these figures in their urban planning, with Japan's government covering 50% of vertiport construction costs, up to a maximum of 313,500 US dollars per site. Los Angeles is gearing up for a big moment with Archer Aviation planning vertiports near SoFi Stadium, Woodland Hills, and LAX. They want to have their midnight EV tall aircraft ready for the 2027 NFL Super Bowl. Each EV toll will carry four passengers plus a pilot, flying between 20 and 50 miles at speeds of 150 miles per hour. Dubai is moving quickly too, with Joby Aviation starting work on a vertiport at DXB International Airport. The flight between DXB and Palm Jumeirah will only take 12 minutes, compared to a 45-minute drive. Dubai's plan includes three more vertiports in key spots like downtown Dubai and Marina, all designed to work with the city's public transport system. The EV tall industry is pulling in billions of dollars in investments. Joby Aviation, backed by Toyota and Delta Airlines, has raised over 2 billion US dollars. Toyota alone put in 500 million US dollars bringing its total investment in Joby to $894 million, which also covers manufacturing and certification support. Meanwhile, Archer Aviation is teaming up with United Airlines and is focused on expanding its operations in New York, Chicago, and Los Angeles. Even Japan's Toyota Ventures is getting involved, working to streamline manufacturing for these high-tech vehicles.
As vertiports start operating, their success will depend on smooth air traffic management and efficient charging systems. Joby is rolling out the Global Electric Aviation Charging System at its vertiports to make sure vehicles can turn around quickly. Passengers can expect shorter travel times and stunning views. For instance, Dubai's air taxis promise amazing cityscapes while cutting down on commute times. Plus, these vehicles are designed with sustainability in mind, offering zero-emission travel, faster trips, and the latest tech. Even with these exciting projects in the works, there are still plenty of challenges ahead for the Vertiport revolution. So, what do you think? Are we ready for air taxis and Vertiports? Will these projects work, or will rules and delays hold them back? Share your thoughts in the comments below.